Hello everybody, today we're gonna to talk about property management softwares. What property management softwares are out there available for you? What property management software I use for my business? And well, property and which property management software you should use? Well, that all depends on you, your company, the number of uh, rental properties you're overseeing, uh, the possibly the state, the region that you're in as well too. So you might have to shop around uh, call a few management companies, go online, search them, um, shop them, see what options they have, what features come with each management software. And then at the end of the day, you'll determine which one possibly will suit you best. You might find one and stick with it. You might have to try a few different ones. It all depends. Okay. So, um, look at my notes here. What property management softwares are there? Well, there's a few of them. There's um, one that I'm very, very familiar with. It's called Yardi. So there's a couple of different uh, Yardi versions. There's Yardi Voyager. There's Yardi Genesis 2, which is one grade lower than Voyager. Voyager is more if you're a big corporation and manage, manage hundreds and thousands of rental units. Um, there's Yardi Gen 2, which is one grade lower from that and that's if you have i think it's a hundred uh rental properties or less um and then they just came out with a new one i just found out it's called yardy breeze it's basically an app it, it, you can it basically simplifies property management so we can get more in depth on that one later um if you guys want request it and i can see if i can do a video on it but the one, um, but what I use is Yardi. So that's that's what I use. Um, there's also Appfolio, Buildium, Simplify MP, Property Management. There is Property Property Where, Property Czar, Rent, uh, Rent Tech Direct, Rent Manager, so on and so forth. Um, so like I said, I use Yardi for my business and for the properties that I manage and oversee. Um, some of the features that I like about Yardi is that there's a rent cafe. Rent cafe um, is where you go and uh, put your available rental properties to market for rent. Okay, there's also electronic rent. Uh, there's also an electronic rent payment system, which is called Wips. W I P S Wips rent payment system. It's a that's a feature that Yardi has, and um, what it is on each tenant. Uh, resident screen you can assign them a WIPS account number and you click the button and auto it automatically generates an account number then you give it to that individual that in, that that tenant will go in and um, they can go to any local pay station it can be like a it can be a check cashing place it can be a local Walmart a lot of my tenants pay at a Walmart um, it just all depends where you're at and um, there's a website for that where tenants can type in uh, the area or zip code that they live in and um, all the available pay stations where they can pay their rent will show up uh, will pop up on there and then they can go to any one of them and uh, pay their rent once they pay their rent um, say you pay your rent right now well it's going to show on your resident screen that you pay the rent today and the amount that the tenant paid so owners property management companies can keep track electronically of all rents um, coming in um, monthly and the date and time that they came in as well. Um, one of the features, I like it keeps track of your rent rolls, NOIs, other reports um, like um, monthly expenses, um, owner's ledgers. What I can do is actually have my laptop open. So I'll just give you a quick idea of what features are is on um, the Yardi software that I use. So for example, um, accounts receivables, there's there's um, charges. You can create a charge, review a charge, review charge batches, re uh, you can reverse a charge, uh, charge dispersions. There's receipts, you can cr cr create create a receipt. Receipt, creating receipt is meaning someone paid you rent. Um, quick receipts, there's also EFT credit card um, payments. There's the monthly posting. Um, accounts payables. There is payables. You can go click on create payable, review payable, review payable batch, adjust payable flags. 
um, payments, process payments, meaning you're, you wrote a check out to a vendor, then um, you go and you process, click on process payment, click on that vendor, process the check, check prints out, mail it out, vendor gets paid. Um, you can rewrite or write checks if you say, for example, made an error on, on a vendor check. Um, let's see, you can also, there's a way to pay owners out directly on here. Um, keep track of work orders. You can review a work order, add a work order, post a work order, schedule, assign a work order, employee work order times, work order templates. There's uh, the general ledger where it keeps track of journals, create journal, review journal. Um, you can end the period for that month as well. There's also analytics regarding financing, accounts receivables, payables, ledgers, commercial real estate uh, reports, types of reports that are available. For owners, there's um, owner summary reports, owner statements, owner ledgers, monthly report packets. Um, there's also, see there's property, there's property directory, unit directory. Um, there's a lot of other features on here as well too, but I'm just giving an example. Uh, payables, you uh, payable report for that week, that month, um, management and vendor lists. Um, next tab over is tenants. So you can review a tenant, add a tenant, review a prospect, add a prospect to a particular property. Um, there's also the next feature, setup. You can set up new owners, review owners, edit owners' accounts or, um, um, in, or owner information. Um, you can add and review units or homes or accounts. Vendors review or add vendors, uh, meaning you add those vendors to your vendor list uh, with all the requirements necessary. So that way they're on there. You go, you need their information, click on review vendor and it comes up. Uh, type in the vendor names and it comes up. Uh, bank information, you link your trust account banking information with, um, with Yardi. And that way when you're gonna go cut a check to pay out a vendor or an owner, um, or a tenant for move out for um, refunding their deposit. Cut them the check. The, the check has your banking, your trust account banking routing number slash account number. And then uh, what they do is they'll go cash a check, funds get pulled from there. Okay. And then there's also administration tab, which is the uh, print guru, general setup, security systems, banking configuration, manual tasks toolboxes, and a lot more. So that's some of the features um, that that um, Yardi um, provides. There's a lot more where I can get in depth, but it's gonna be, have to be on um, multiple videos where I can give a breakdown. One can be on account receivables, one can be on NOI, one can be on um, how to create a payable, how to pay a payable out, um, how to do tenant, uh, tenant charges, how to create a receipt. So all that stuff I can show you, just request it. And then, um, but I'll also be making videos, but there'll be short clip videos on how to do these tasks, okay? So um, there you have it. Um, what I pay, I pay for my management software because this question might come up. So I pay about 1300 right now for mine and that's annually. That's um, so it's due a certain period of each year. So that's what I pay right now. Now, um, the more rental properties, more accounts I pick up and I add onto the software, then of course the price increases. So it just all depends. Okay, so hopefully this, this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment, subscribe, like my page, share it, and um, I'll see you on the next video.